Hello, my name is Angela, and two weeks ago I sent in a resignation letter and quit my six-figure job as a psychiatric nurse to be a full-time artist and content creator. Let's roll back the clip. <laughs> okay, count down. Three, two, one. Undo. <laughs> Fast forward to today. I am now my own boss, which is a romanticized way of saying I am super unemployed because I'm not making a living wage off of my art. In fact, I am not making anything off of my art. So let's talk about it while I start my day. I'm sure a lot of people in my life are wondering why would I quit a job when I work in the most well-paying region for nurses. Going into nursing, my goal was to make a difference in people's lives who were struggling with their mental health. However, it was a very high-stress environment and I burnt out. I asked my manager if I could cut down my hours and unfortunately she said I could not. I tried toughing it out but I just became exhausted and I started losing my ability to empathize with my patients. This is something I heard was pretty common with seasoned nurses and as a student, I thought that I would be the exception. Not only was I not the exception, I was burnt out before I even became a seasoned nurse. I remember after a tough day at work, I went to my sister's room and I said out loud for the first time, I don't like the person I'm becoming. And all of a sudden, I started crying. <laughs> that was the day I sent in my resignation letter. As I'm telling you this story, I feel a little embarrassed. <laughs> I wish that I was stronger than I am, but I'm realizing I am a highly sensitive person and I'm learning how to embrace that. And who knows, maybe I'll learn in the future that I am strong, just in ways I didn't expect. Anyways, thank you for listening to my tea. Let's continue this conversation in my studio, also known as my bedroom. <laughs> Throughout my nursing career, I would paint to cope with the stress and share my art online with other people who needed an escape from this fast-paced world. A lot of my art is focused on nature because that's what brings me peace. Turns out a lot of us are in the same boat and we all need to touch some grass. <laughs> no, seriously though, my therapist literally told me that I needed to touch grass. <laughs> that is why I pay her. <laughs> Anyways, getting such positive feedback from you guys and just knowing how my art can make you feel has given me so much courage to begin this new journey. What you guys have taught me is that even though I'm changing career paths, I'm not necessarily giving up on my dream. My original dream was to make a difference in people's lives who were struggling with their mental health and that remains my guiding star. With that in mind, I want to make this sketchbook into an affordable sticker sheet. I feel like as adults especially, we underestimate the power of just owning small things and trinkets or stickers that bring us joy. You guys have been so supportive throughout my whole art journey and so I hope this next shop launch gives you as much comfort as you have given me. With that being said, I am giving myself just two weeks to do my next shop launch and I've never even made a sticker sheet before. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to take you along with me. I finished scanning all my photos and I actually prefer editing on my phone because I'm used to using Lightroom on my phone. Don't judge me, I am a professional. <laughs> As I work on these stickers, I can't help but feel excited for what lies ahead. I know this journey won't be easy. To be honest, I haven't made a single sale in over a month, likely because of the inconsistency I had while juggling my full-time job as a nurse. Even though my art isn't bringing in any money right now, my husband and I have saved up enough for me to fully commit to this for a year. I'm ready to embrace the highs and lows and everything in between on this artistic path. I'm frustrated. <laughs> I printed the sticker sheets um, for cutting and it came out faded. So I know that it's not my printer's fault because when I preview the print off of Silhouette, it's faded. Like you could see that this has more saturation, more contrast. 
I don't know what to do. All right, so I bumped up the saturation and the contrast way more than I normally would in silhouette, and we shall see how this goes. <laughs> We had multiple misprints, but that's okay. It's not that bad, there were four. <laughs> so, time to get cutting. <laughs> stickers peel off is the question. And just like that, I made my first product as a full-time artist and the day has come to an end. The beauty of trying new things is that you learn it really well once and you have a new tool that will serve you for the rest of your life. Whether it's a new skill or a whole new career path, you never know what you're capable of until you try. Just on this day alone, there were many challenges and I foresee many more ahead. But my goodness, will there be growth and a whole lot of it. Thank you for joining me on the first day of what I believe will be nothing short of an incredible journey. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>